Hey, what's up? Sixtayo here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fully unlock your bootloader and uh, root your HTC One M7 801E, 801N, or 801S. And um, also uh, show you how and where to get the uh, see stock Google Edition ROM. So uh, like my HTC One right here is already running the uh, stock Google Edition ROM. This is the T-Mobile variant. Um, I haven't really had any issues. The only issue I've actually had is uh, the globe picture thing kinda sucks and uh, a couple glitches with the, the music widget on the lock screen other than that it's been running perfectly fine no issues and yes this one is black um, it's not perfect yet but it is you know black now so it's kinda cool but anyway um, yeah let's just get right into it so what you need obviously first off is the you know the phone you will also need uh, this little guy right here, Android File Transfer, which will be in the description below for uh, download. And um, also you're going to need the HTC One root folder, which I will also include in the a download for in the description below. And once you download that, you'll have all these little files in this little folder right here. And then what you'll need, because um, you're using Mac, this works on Mac, Linux, or Windows. If you don't have the HTC drivers installed, you can actually install them. Uh, let's see, from right here. Just click on that if you're using Windows. But then again, this is Mac, so it doesn't matter. What you want to do is you want to double click on ADB Mac and Fastboot Mac, and then do Command N to open up new terminal window. Uh, you open up these just so you can read your uh, your HTC One in Fastboot mode. So on your HTC One, what you want to go ahead and do. Let's see, go to system, go down to developer options, make sure USB debugging and uh, allow mock locations and stay awake is uh, checked off. Um, on stock, it won't have allow mock locations, I think. It'll just be USB debugging and stay awake, so just check those off. Go to power, wherever that is. Oh, it doesn't have it in here. Okay, so you're, you're going to have a little uh, thing in the stock ROM that says power, go and tap that and make sure that fast boot is not checked. After that, go ahead and power off. Okay. Once it's completely off, go ahead and hold the volume down button. Then just simply click on the uh, power button. All right. As you can already see, my bootloader is unlocked, and it says tampered. That set that means that it's rooted. Go ahead and go into Fastboot. Now you can go ahead and hook up your HTC One to your computer. I recommend using an HTC official cable, just because they're the most durable and they're the most reliable. Let's see. Oh, yeah. There we go. Once it says Fastboot USB, that means it's connected. And my computer is set up to where the mouse will freeze if uh, something is connected. Then I just press, tap the space bar, works again. So let's see. Make sure that you don't have any spaces in there like that. Let's see, I already have my description typed up here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is copy the, uh, the token identifier key that you put in. So it's dot forward slash fastboot uh, dash mac space oem space get underscore identifier underscore token I'll show you how to get that now I already have this so it doesn't really matter let's see, go to your terminal and then once you copy that what you want to go ahead and do go back to your HTC one root folder okay you're going to want to go ahead and type cd space, take the HTC One root folder, drag over, drop it, and then enter. Now it will read off of that, and it will be going off of that. Paste, and you should be able to get something like this. So what you want to do, where it shows identifier token start, you want to go ahead and start at info, and end at identifier token end, and make sure that it's selected right here at this last little arrow right here. Simply command copy, or command C I mean. Then you want to go to your browser. So I'm going to open a new window. 
going to go to htcdev.com. Go ahead and log in. Let's see, you should be redirected. Go ahead and select Unlock Bootloader. Get started. Never mind, internet decides to go. Select your device, and if you can't find your device in this list, which you more than likely won't, which I don't think anybody really uses an Arabic sensation or something like that, uh, all other supported models begin boot or begin unlock boot order. Yes, it will come up with a little check things right here. Just go ahead and select both of those. Proceed to unlock. Scroll down. Next page. Scroll down. Next page. Go ahead and paste this. So what are you going to want to do from here? You do not want to hit submit because you're just going to get this. Boot order unlock failed. So what you want to do, everywhere it says info, you want to uh, just delete all of those. So one, two, three, four, up, one, two, three, four. That's kind of how I you know, keep track of that. Somebody's knocking at my door. I'll be right back. It was Jimmy. Okay. So back to the shit. Okay, now the way you can actually tell if you fucked up anywhere is it will not line up right here. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. Go ahead and hit submit. I'm going to go ahead and focus on this because that looks kind of shitty. Let's see, token submitted successfully. I don't need it again because it's, you know, already done. So, command T, yahoo mail dot com. Uh, I don't care. What the fuck? Okay, so you should get an email like this. What you want to do? I'm just going to go ahead and download my unlock bin thing just because. Go ahead and save. Save to my computer. Go ahead and show in Finder. Show in Finder. There you go. Do I have another one in here somewhere? It says two, but let's see. Where is that other one? So that's what I need. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on my uh, on my desktop. So we're done with the internet. Let's see. So what you want to do with this is you want to go ahead and drop it in your HTC One root folder. And then, let's see, we're going to go ahead and delete that one because it's an old one. You should only have one in here. And then with this one, it won't show up like this, but if you have more than one unlock uh, underscore code bin file thing, just go ahead and delete the uh, parentheses and the number. And then you want it just like that. So, in the description, go ahead and find this little guy right here. Uh, dot forward slash fastboot uh, dash mac space flash uh, space unlock token space unlock underscore code dot bin. Let's go ahead and copy that. That was kind of a mouthful, but okay. Can C. And then you want to go ahead and simply, that is the ADB one. Go to wherever your uh, token shows up, and then simply do that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just hit enter anyway. 
should be okay. And you may get, you should get something that says yes, no on here, but my blue loader is already unlocked, so it's not going to actually work. But um, yeah, you should get something. So just go ahead and hit the volume up button to select yes, power button to select yes, and then it will freeze for a minute, and then it will unlock your bootloader that way. So what you want to do, I'm going to go ahead and reboot anyway. And you should, uh, no, mine says that. That's what it'll say after this is all done. But, um, let's see. It'll probably take a while for the initial boot. After the initial boot, it'll, uh, yeah, just have an unlock boot order after that. Then we can proceed to root. Then with the Android file transfer, it will just automatically show up like this. So after your uh, HTC One has fully rebooted, what you want to do is you want to find the uh, CWM Super SU, and you want to go ahead and drag and drop that uh, file into here. Okay. Once that's on there, go ahead and uh, turn your phone off. You just need that in there so that once you actually root it, you can install Super SU. That will give you uh, root access. So next, I'm going to disconnect. Wait for that light to turn off. Volume down, power button. Should be in here. And it should say unlocked right up here. Mine's already rooted, so it just says that. Go ahead and select uh, with your power button, fast boot should say fastboot right there. Once you plug it in, it should say fastboot USB. There we go. Well, you can tell it's connected because my mouse is frozen. I actually don't know what does that. Um, it just set itself up like that. So, let's see. Just to uh, see if it, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and quit the terminal. You may not have to do that, but yeah, I do that anyway. Fast boot, ADB, Command N, and what we're going to go ahead and do: CD space. Drag and drop that in there. Okay, now we're in there. Okay, now go back down to my description, and you're going to want to type in. Let's see. If you're using an AT&T or a T-Mobile variant, this is the uh, this is the one you want to use. But uh, another way you can actually do this is uh, by only copying the let's see what is it the forward slash or dot forward slash uh, fastboot dash mac uh, space flash recovery or space recovery whatever. Just copy that, and if you're using the uh, international model, let me just go ahead and make sure. Let's see, 2500 G. Okay, so this first one right here, that will be for the AT&T or T-Mobile variants. The second one right here, the WLS, that is for the Sprint variant. For the International uh, or Developers Edition, uh, this is the one you want to use, the 6.0.3.1-m7.img. Uh, that will do Clockwork Recovery Mod. These two are TWRP. Um, I'll try to find the TWRP if you really want it, but this one will just install a Clockwork mod. So go ahead and, um, let's see, if you don't have a uh, AT&T or T-Mobile model, just go ahead and copy this part right here. But if you have a T-Mobile or AT&T model like mine, go ahead and copy this whole thing right here. Command copy. And simply paste it in there. Hit uh, enter. And you should be able to, uh, you know, see stuff happening. Um, I'm not going to do it on mine because mine's already rooted. But if you run into any issues with this, uh, just let me know and I'll help you out. But typed up exactly like this, this will flash TWRP onto your phone. And then you will, let's see. Let me go back to my bootloader. Go into your recovery.
Now, um, after you initially root it and install TW TWRP, it may boot all the way. Um, and if that happens, all you have to do is just go back into your bootloader, select uh, you know, recovery from your bootloader, and boot into that. And you should get some kind of this is only meant for development purposes and blah, blah, blah. Once in TWRP, hit reboot, then system. And then, um, let's see, if you haven't installed SuperSU, which, you know, it'll make you do that. Or not, it won't make you do that, but it'll ask you if you want to. Go ahead and slide to, uh, slide to flash. And that will install SuperSU onto your phone. Now, at this point, your phone will be completely rooted. And uh, there's also an app you can download from Google Play uh, called Root Checker or something like that. I don't have it installed on this, but you, know, you can do that. And then I'll check and see if you have root access. Go into your applications and stuff. And look for the Super SU folder thing. Let's see, where is that? Why am I not seeing this? Oh yeah, super user. This is a different icon, I guess, than I'm used to. So I already have some stuff on here, but yeah. So go into super user, and then one way you can also check to make sure it's for sure rooted, you can go to your Google thing. Let's see, type in Wi-Fi tether. Let's see, Trevi mod. Scroll down to somewhere like Wi-Fi Tether Trevi Mod Google Code. This will actually make it so you can do free Wi-Fi tethering, by the way, too. See, if you download and install that, and it asks you if you want to grant super user access or root access or something like that, that will tell you that you can install uh, rooted applications and stuff like that onto your device. Now on to if you want to install the... Uh, the developer, you know, Google Edition ROM on your HTC One. So, let's see. And the download for that ROM will be right here. It'll be in the description below. This is the, the description for YouTube, for the YouTube video, by the way, if uh, you didn't get that in the beginning. But, uh, yeah, just go and click on this, and it will uh, already automatically start downloading. And uh, my mouth is really dry right now. So, let's see what you want to do. And, uh, let's see, Android File Transfer. You should have a folder called TWRP. And, personally, I just put everything in my ROMs and shit folder. This is my RUU, in case something fucks up. And I also have it on my computer. To where, if I have no OS installed, like the dumbass I was when I first got my first HGC one, I erased everything. So, RUUs are good to have for your phone. So the RUU is pretty much the stock OS. The, uh, the Google Edition ROM is the Bixi M7 GPE Odex T Balden .zip. That's a mouthful. Anyway, uh, once it's downloaded, simply drag and drop the zip into your TWRP folder. And then once that is, uh, that's in your TWRP folder, power off. Okay. You no longer need to have this connected. Simply hold down your volume down button. And then uh, hit the power button. Go into recovery. And uh, at this point, it should say unlocked and tampered because it's rooted. And um, I do not have S off on this, by the way. I've never had to have S off on any HTC one that I've done to reflash ROMs constantly. My first HTC one, I was flashing ROMs left and right. Like the uh, Revolution HD, the Synergy Mod ones, or you know, this one. And I've never run into any issues with it. So what you want to do, go to Wipe. And uh, by the way, this will wipe your, your whole phone. And I'm also unlocking your bootloader wheel. I'll actually put a caption for that as well. So what you want to do is you want to swipe to factory reset. What I usually do is I go to Advanced, Dalva Cache Data System, then swipe to Wipe. That's what you want to do. Once that's done, go ahead and do a factory reset. Then go to install. Scroll down to your TWRP folder. And then 
see that file is located in my ROMs and shit folder. Simply select that and then uh, swipe to confirm flash. That will flash the ROM onto your phone. Then uh, once that's done, go ahead and reboot system and then you should have the stock Google Edition ROM on your device. Now, um, let's see. If you just pull this out of the box, it won't really matter that much that your your phone's completely wiped. I should have mentioned that at the beginning, but I'll put a caption for that at the beginning. Let's see, for that, the command you want to do is actually right here to back up your whatever. So make sure you read the description. Let's see, do chmod. I'll actually show you how to type it up. Let's see. Let me go ahead and do that. I'm actually going to go ahead and create a backup for my HTC one anyway. That is not a bad idea to do. And you will have to have your, uh, your HTC one on to do this. So do ch mod space seven seven five or is it seven five five seven five five my bad space and star. Next, you want to go ahead and copy the adb or dot forward slash adb mac backup thing that's in the description. Copy and then go ahead and paste. Enter. Now unlock your phone. Let's see, do you wish to encrypt the backup? Enter password below. I do not want to encrypt that backup. So go ahead and tap backup my data. So that's backing up everything into a little file that's going to go in your HTC One root folder. To restore your data, what you want to do, where is that? Where did I put it? All right, so it's right here at the near the end. Simply uh, copy and paste that into your terminal once you're completely done with this, and then it should just put all your stuff back on. Um, not everything will go back on. Some things may be missing, but the majority of your vital data, like your contacts and maybe text, maybe not, but pictures and stuff like that, that should stay on there. But then again, you should have your pictures backed up to your computer anyway. So, sorry for not mentioning that at the beginning, but, you know, that's how you do that. So, that's backing up. Once that's done, I'll be able to restore my backup whenever I need it. And, yeah. So, anyway, um, if this video helped you out at all, comment, rate, subscribe in the box below. Follow me on Twitter, at 6 zero. And, um, oh yeah, by the way, I did mention this was black, too. So, I'm going to show you that. in the middle of a backup so I'm not disconnecting it. But yeah, there is a black T-Mobile HTC One M7. You tell it's T-Mobile because one, it says T-Mobile right there. Two, you're getting HSPA plus 3G, 4G. And uh, this is the LTE area, so yeah. Maybe there's a black HTC One M7 for T-Mobile. Still waiting on the frame to come in for this and it's kind of shitty right here. I just left it like that until I get my new frame. So don't judge me, fuck you, and I have a black team of HCC1. So what's up? <laughs> okay, so now, come on, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 6 0 If you have any questions at all, let me know, and um, I'll, um, I'll help you out any way I can. Okay, see ya.